Hello, Elisabeth and Sven Alf. Hello. Hello, Russ. Hello, Russ. So we are in one of the other big fields that Sven Alf has for digging hay. And this is where Samuel took silage last time. Right. That we made videos from. Yeah. Yes, so that was uh, some time ago now. Yeah. And now it's regrown a lot. Yeah. So this is a very nice, nutritious... Yeah. So uh, Patrick will harvest this one more time yeah. and get this really high nutrient regrowth and yeah. then he can mix and give them every other bale yeah. uh, with the old grass with the old grass yeah. and the young grass. Yeah. And this, you see the difference probably on the camera here too? Yes. So here can. it's pure Timothy. On this side it's pure Timothy. Yeah. And here it's a mix sown yeah, at the same the time yeah. with a, a lay mix with clover in it. So you see some of the red yeah, clovers I are flowering see. now. So there must be a lot of nitrogen fixing going on here. Yeah. Okay. So when it's this clover rich, you have to mix it up also for the cows, otherwise it'll be sort of too strong for them. Okay. Uh -huh. And this is the usual uh, mix that you buy, yes. right? Yeah. And it must have Timothy, Clover and several yeah, other species. Uh, it more feral, no, it's, 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 three. It's, uh, it's three species. Timothy, Clover and Engsvingel. Ah, there's also Engsvingel. It's another species of grass. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's interesting because our field where the cows are, it has so many species. Yeah. So the, old, the older they get, the more species you that, have. Okay. Every year you've got seeds coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, so it goes so it to gets some more kind and more of diverse a, every year if yeah. you leave it alone. And it oh. follows machines and yes. the seeds and yes. falls off. Yeah. I mean, one question we had was, <clears throat> remember the mineral lick we gave to the cows yeah. in that field? They go through it very slowly, and and uh, Elizabeth's theory is that they they also go all over the field and eat what they want. Yeah. So Elizabeth thinks that maybe they're getting all the micronutrients by yeah. eating s very Minerals. different. Yeah. Because there's so few yeah. cows in yeah. more than three hectares. Yeah. So that they can really pick and choose. Yeah. They only eat what they really like. Yeah. Yeah. They don't eat. They don't need to eat something that they don't like. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, no, but it's no really exactly. It's really remarkable because they ate so much more salt minerals in the smaller fields. Okay. Because but there they had to eat everything that was available. Yeah. yeah. So my theory is now when they can pick and choose, they kind of feel what minerals they need and will eat plants that are rich in those minerals. Yeah. Yeah. That's. What yeah, I but definitely should That's be investigated true. more. Cool. And the Yungan River is just down there, right? Yep, yep. yep. just down below the, yeah. the tree, tree line. Yeah. Yeah. And roughly how many hectares is this, I know? It's, uh, it's 14, 15 hectares. 14, 15 hectares. Oh. Wow. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I have a stop on here with the and I had the nine. Nine hectares, this like big oh, okay. rectangle oh, here. Oh, right, right. Yeah. And then it stretches a yeah. bit further. So nine hectares, I guess, should be enough for maybe 12 cows all year. Oh. Depends on the year, how much grass you Yeah, <laughs> that's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. Cool.